is the Laugh Time Show. What if, what if you could call people with doors? What if that was one of the things that doors could do is it call people and it, there was no phones or anything. It was just doors. Doors did it too. Like they were used for like opening, like separating rooms and, and you, just the regular thing they, they're used for. But, but also you, you call people with them and that was just normal. And that was, that was how right. normal life is. Um, just that small little detail. Everything else is the hmm. same. But you use your door to call people. Come on, it's not that hard of a concept. I don't get it. I really, it went right over my head. Well, exactly. Explain, like, explain it, that to me. Instead of phones. Calm down. Instead of phones. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. Instead of phones. Now, you know phones. It's not fair to you, I know, because you're in your head. You already know that there's phones and you, the normal phones that fit in your hand, and you hold them to your ear. But what if that's not how we made them? What if we made doors phones okay they're also doors too just like i explained just like in there just like i drew out for you in there i explained them now they're doors okay and they're phones what's so hard can about it be that? Both, you go over to the phone you, you have to walk over it like maybe now now these are doors like we made portable board versions of them. but i think when we were starting out like instead of because we had this thing that was just attached to a wall I mean, it wasn't a door, but now if we made the door, the phone built into the door, like, and you had to go to the door and answer the door because <laughs> you're answering it for people once yeah. they're standing there, but maybe they're calling you through the door too. And you can just, it makes kind of sense because Doesn't you have to answer the door and listen to the rest of it. And uh, open it to go into a room. I was like, you know, because you answer the door. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? You already answer the door. So now you're really answering the door, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, can you hold on? I gotta get the door. <laughs> Somebody's calling. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. See? Because somebody would be calling you, f and you have to answer the door for that. And when they're standing, they're knocking on it, you to answer. So it all be go through. It makes perfect fucking sense. It's the craziest idea you ever had. You already have ever. to answer the door when somebody's ever. behind it and knocking on it. What if they call you and they're <laughs> and you answer? The door? You're crossing over the threshold, man. Come on, you're losing. You dial like a fucking huge dial to like boop boop boop. I'm gonna call Nancy. <laughs> boop boop boop. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and then you have to hold the fucking door. I'm gonna call Big Nancy. Door. Hey Nancy, can you hear? Wait, where's the earpiece? That is not. Maybe good. the ear thing would be the doorknob. <laughs> that would and never then you're be talking comfortable. to the other side. Well, that's how it started out. Things get easier and better with technology, and it was real hard to do oh. at first. <laughs> you started you breaking into think, southern accent there. Yeah, no, I didn't. Sort of. I saw it. You <laughs> gotta think way back to when inventions are Hillbilly's created. Were They're here. not the best. Perfect version of it. We back with Hay Bailey is thought of the doors. <laughs> no. Huh? Uh, we did the Hay Baby thing. So I skipped some of these and did other ones. Yeah, that's this is this is pretty dumb. It's only four seconds. We I think if there's enough gay people in the neighborhood, you can call it a gayborhood. Speaking of doors, I just had a vision of a reality show where you knock on people's door. It's called Door to Door. <laughs> and just ask if you can come in. Okay. Just random things that you wouldn't expect to, them to agree to, because you're just a random person and you're nope. not there for any reason. Really? Just knock on someone's door and just say hi, and then just completely just be silent and that's it. But the intro to this show would I envision to be it's two people outside each other's door. Like their houses are yeah. right next to each other or something. The doors are facing. They have to like go through the other person's house, whatever. Like, the, it's just one door basically. It's like they both open the door in t to each other's house, and that's the intro. Like, it's just two people, one single knock, and they open the door and both at and the same time. And they're in each other's house. I okay. guess it would have to be two doors. It's oh. the same door, two houses, say, and that's the intro. <clears throat> door to door. They, oh. They're like, I'll reason. come in. <laughs> whatever. Or whatever. And they both go in each, each other's house. And, like, you're coming into somebody's house, but then, like, they're switching houses. So, <laughs> you come. So, so it's like, uh, separated. Like, you're going in their house, but then you're separating. I don't. Do like drugs here in their house now, and that's just the intro to the show. And that's not even it doesn't have anything to do with the show, it's just just the quick intro one knock, what 
And then you, you go in each other's house. One knock. You jump to the show. And one knock and you answer the show what? Would be the random ideas like you're, you you knock on real people's houses and and say random things or do random things. I'm not doing okay. <laughs> that was all I, of it. I need a lot of help. Yes, it's just a concept for the show. You door knock door. on it's going to door to door and like asking people to do things mm. that you wouldn't normal like it wouldn't be normal to ask. Mm. It's kind of like pranking people in real life. You know, like. Like, give me three um, spoons and and like two forks, and and then I'm gonna one night. I don't know. I'm can I live in your bush, in your bushes out here, just for a day? And no, I don't want to come in. Don't, no thanks. And I'll just live in the bush. Like so just weird things for every show. Like you just come up with things. I don't know. You have to have writers. And... <laughs> you don't need a writer for that. I'm not a writer's. So. Three robbers. Three robbers. What's this? It'd be kind of funny if three different robbers r robbed the same house at the same time and all, like, yanking on stuff. Well, I want it. I want that one. I want it not. They all robbed the house at the same it. time and they're like fighting over <clears> things. <throat> they, no, I'm here for, like, Do they go out together to rob the house step. or do they just show up randomly and end up with each other? Yeah, randomly. Randomly, they they're, they're, they don't they know each other. They break in. Another guy breaks in. And another guy breaks in. Because three no, of them. I was like, no, I picked. The, I was like, just <coughs> random. I got dibs. I, I touched it first. You know, I get this. Yeah, like they're going around, and then they're like, that would never happen. I know. That's why it's kind of a funny concept. I should be a writer for comedy. It's just SNL. <laughs> Clearly, I should. This one's like, fucking listen to my brain here. I'm like George Carlin or something. This is ridiculous. You heard with all the ups, different ups. That's all something right. he would say. Like say this. He would say that. He would say he did something like that. with uh, like Not up. He didn't yeah, it wasn't up. I did up. That's mine. I'm that version Versus of George up. Carlin. This is his. No, this is another thing for my the head. The earth is a cake. Let's all calm down. The sun's baking a cake. <laughs> Let's all calm Where down. Where the ingredients? People. <laughs> all the dead people. Bones, blood, all the layers in the cake. A bunch of grass on top. Where's icing. this going? It's a big old cake. Hey. Sun's baking it for years. It's never going to be done. Probably overcooked. Just big old cake. Rocks, sand, dirt. It's crunchy. Chocolate cake. Big old trees. Sun's just baking a cake. For corpses. <laughs> what? All kinds of ingredients in there. Thousands of years of brains, arms, and legs. Blood. Uh, dogs and cats. Just baking a cake. Disgusting as shit, cake, poop, poop all over the place, and the cake is in the it. cake. It's everything that was poop over here dirt. on the earth, it's a big cake. Blood, guts, people. It's a people cake. I can't think of a lot of earth stuff, so I just keep repeating like Trees and grass. The sun just, just cooking away. Just baking a cake. <laughs> that's all that's going on. We're just baking a cake here. That was a quick end. Baking a cake. End. New recording seven. Best part of waking up is going back to bed. Best part of waking up <laughs> is going back to bed. <laughs> so at a certain age, you're no, you're no longer allowed to crawl. It's really celebrated when you first learn to crawl, and then at a certain age, it's hey? like, why are you crawling? <laughs> like you know how to walk. I think we should go back to crawling. It'd be kind of f more fun. Imagine having a dog, and your whole family has been walking, obviously, and the dog's used to everyone walking. Just one day, you just turn it around, and the whole family, he's, the whole family just crawling. <laughs> Imagine that fucking dog. Oh. What the hell's going on? <laughs> the dog out, gets up, <laughs> starts walking. I wonder if we just, if we could like force evolutionism. Everybody just Whatever. stopped walking and just went back to crawling. And, and that's all we did. What would our limbs look like? And 
if we just committed to that for you know a couple hundred thousand years ah, oh, ah. i can walk that's you some know, like louis walk. ck shit too yeah. i know we're not doing that anymore we're trying to prove a point we're we're doing an experiment we all agreed to it but it hurts my knees we're just baking a cake all right this one's called fat. Do you want to hear all these or should I stop? I mean, yeah, there's a lot. Keep there's calling. like, this is from March 27th. Right, this one's called fat. Oh my God. You see that guy? <laughs> it looks like everything he ever ate is still on him. In him. On him. Like on, like part of, I don't know, you know, just everything you ever ate is still there. <laughs> like part, that's some people look like that. <laughs> Nah, he needs brothers and sisters. What are you doing watching those movies? You could be oh, building the Southern. rest of my family in this time. You messed this up for me. I'm coming to your house when you're sleeping and unscrewing all your light bulbs. Taking them out. Taking them with me. That's what's going to happen. Come nightfall, you're not going to be able to find a flashlight. So this commercial for Subaru 2016 sedan supposed to be the longest lasting car ever. You're right. Sedan ever. Okay. If it's coming out, it, it, it just came out in 2016. How do they know it la it's going to last the longest <laughs> ever? Were they testing this thing for like since like the 80s or something and they didn't release it? They're just like, okay, man, this thing's still going. It's been... 10 years oh man 20 years oh wow that's the longest okay now we'll fucking release it <laughs> uh, so true. they're gonna release it with all the original parts from the 80s and it's like okay this is the last, the longest and, and it looks new it looks like all modern too yeah I don't think so I don't think you fucking know that it's gonna last long it's just it's, <laughs> you have a point Yep, and this one's just for fun. This one's just a silly one, okay? Just a concept of with course. an old man and some kids fucking around in the yard. Why should you be silly? Yeah, we gotta find these kids and putting fans next to each other. These fans are going too fast. Too high speeds on these fans. They're making tornadoes next to my house. You gotta find these kids. They shouldn't have these fans. If they put them right, right next to each other, so they make a tornado every day. Are you Clint Eastwood? I don't know what that was. That was kind of like a the Elmer character from Crank Yankers. Make a song parody for podcast uh, with uh, every other thing insulting and the, the, every other thing yeah. sweet, and, like a compliment. Like, I love your hair, but you're a stupid bitch, and I. The way you walk is the best, and your, your dog sucks, and you know, just like every other thing. Okay, that's the idea. I, those aren't good examples, but you can use them if you really are short on ideas at the time. And this extra ball, <laughs> this extra words here is just bonus. It's not this. This stuff doesn't help, and the rest of it's not going to help you. So please don't listen anymore of this, even though it's longer. Please stop it. You're 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 gonna make somebody real annoyed if you keep listening, especially in front of them. Mm -hmm. They are giving you a dirty look, and all the people that can hear this don't like you anymore. <laughs> and you're now you made yourself laugh because <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's silly, but this part that has no value. There's no value in it, and it, it, there's why you, you're still listening. And you've done this before. You've been known to do this. I think even in text form on Facebook and stuff. <laughs> And you're talking to yourself, or who are you talking to? And who is this? It, like, what character are you doing right now? And it sounds like you a lot if it's a different character. And is this me? Am I talking to myself? I told you, this, these words aren't adding up to anything. So stop recording, and then you won't have to have all this extra seconds on Whatever. the recording, and then there won't be anything to listen to. So it's kind of both of our fault, I guess. But who's both of us? Is it like... Is that like the voice didn't change? So who else is there with you? I, I, I'm I'm really confused. I'm lost. 
I'm confused. Um, it's I need more information. I should have been recording this. All right, now when there's bugs on a window, that like do they they're like bug detectives where it's like, oh my god, Billy, I got smashed all, all over the window there. I can't, there's no way that he was flying that fast. Uh, there had to be a person <laughs> there. Oh my god, we couldn't find Billy for months, and there he is, splattered all over the window there and smashed. There's I don't care what kind of gust wind and the trajectory and uh, he, that, why he was flying. There's no way he flew that fast to get smashed that had to be manned these people man-made that's a, that had to be violence that wasn't billy's fault and i wonder why he's probably just trying to go away and smeared them all over the window uh... just for like effect or something i don't know help me out <laughs>